Hey guys, it's Kate and in this tutorial I will show you how to draw short and long black fur with pastel pencils. I'm using Carbothello pastel pencils on pastel mat and the first thing I do is I cover the whole area where I will be drawing my fur with a black pencil. I'm making sure that I do not press too hard because I do not want to clog the tooth of the paper too soon. I'm passing over with a dark blue pencil to build up color as I want my fur to have different colors in it and that is going to help me make it more realistic. I blend everything with a paper stump and I found that paper stumps work very well on pastel mat along with your fingers. I'm adding one more color, this time it's dark purple to give it a more dimensional look and build depth. Now with my black I'm trying to pick out the strands in between the hairs. If you look closely even shirt fur has these hairs that kind of clump together and they create these pockets of shadow areas so I am squinting and I'm looking where I see the darkest areas in my reference photo. Now I'm blending these darks in with my paper stump so they do not stand out too sharply. I do not need a very sharp pencil at this point because I'm still blending my layers in. Next I take a light blue and I start to build up, the, build up those hairs. As this was a reference photo of my own dog and this is the hair on her head, it is quite short so I'm making the short stroke movements in the direction that the hair grows. It's very important that you draw your hair in the direction of its growth because this is going to add to the realism. Now with the black I'm picking up out the areas that are in between the hairs and I am using a very sharp black at this point because I will not be blending the layers anymore as I did with the previous ones. Next with a lighter gray I am picking out those very highlighted areas. So if you look at any fur the hairs that are on top of other hairs they catch more light so that kind of creates them uh, creates highlights on them and I am using my light gray sparingly just not to um, create too many highlights in the same area. I'm tapping everything in with my finger and my fur is ready. Next I will be doing long black fur and again the first thing I do is I cover the area with my black. I'm just fixing a bit the stroke that I had that went too much out of the circle with an eraser. I use erasers very rarely and usually I can layer over my mistakes if I make any and it does not need any erasing. This long fur is a reference from my, again, my own dog and this is the area where her ear grows and it's at the very bottom of her ear where the hairs are longer and I am trying to pick out the strands of hairs and what I'm doing is called a negative drawing. So I'm looking at the shadow areas in between the hairs and I'm kind of leaving the hair clumps that are lighter completely alone at the moment. So looking at the shapes and drawing those in with my black. If I were to go over all of the area with too much black with such a strong black as I'm using for my shadows it would be more difficult to add the lighter hairs on top so I have the first layer light layer of black in place and I can still layer my lighter values over that but the shadow areas are a lot darker and it creates a nice contrast and adds more realism to the drawing so as you can see the strands of hairs, the clumps, are quite um, thin 
and depending on the reference photo that you have it will vary from animal to animal and depending on the part of the body that the hair is growing on. I'm using again a dark blue and I am passing over those shadow areas just to build the depth otherwise it's going to look too black and too flat. With uh, mid-value gray, I am picking out those hair clumps that I see as the lightest parts of my hairs. I am trying to follow the direction of the fur growth again. As the hair is sprouting from the base of the ear, you can see that the hairs kind of grow out from the right top corner. I'm drawing in clumps and I'm not drawing each separate hair. So you can see that there's still paper shining through. So what I do is I take my paper stump and I blend everything in. This takes away that harshness in between the areas of light and dark. Again, with my darker blue, I am passing over the areas of shadow and I am also passing over those areas where the hairs kind of grow out of. In the beginning part of the clumps of hair, the ones that are closer to the skin, they will be darker than the ones uh, at the end of the clumps of hair. So with my lighter blue, I am first putting in the value of the clump of hair and at the very tip, I'm adding my white just to create more contrast and just to make it seem that the hairs are actually growing out from within, from the base of the ear. I'm doing the same thing for each clump of hair and at the very base of the, each clump of hair, I'm adding a dark blue just to create that sense of depth. With my black, I am putting a bit more darker value in the shadow parts that I see in my reference photo. Again, just to create more contrast and it's going to look the painting more attractive and more realistic. With my white, I'm picking out those very tips of the hairs just to make them stand out a bit more. And I'm also adding some stray hairs that have kind of gone out of these clumps.
Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it was very useful and you learned something from this video. If you would like to check out other pastel tutorials on my YouTube channel, do not forget to subscribe and like this video. And I have real-time tutorials on my Patreon channel as well, so if you'd like to support me there, I'll be very grateful. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!